Welcome to Module 2, Video 4 from the Safe and Effective Use of AI in Education Online Resources. Earlier in this module we looked at how high quality detailed prompts can lead to higher quality and more useful outputs. The output you get is the result of your prompts being processed by the AI system. The output might take many forms. It could be text formatted in a range of ways such as letters, text-based quizzes, paragraphs for comprehension, descriptions and much more. It might be that you've asked for an image to be created or an audio response. Some AI systems could also output video and code. I would say about 80% is text to text, but then we have also used some tools uh, for image generation for staff uh, to use uh, to create custom images that go with particular stories. One of our English teachers does a bit of creative writing with the students, so she gener was generating scenes. She's told me one day she was doing different scenarios with her dog, but she'd run out of pictures. So we typed in a description of her dog and we got the dog like parach paragliding, uh, doing all sorts with the students. In drama, we've created images of like a treasure island and then the students had to take that and then turn that into performance. With an AI generated response, we can refine the output. We can give additional prompts to hone in on a more useful response. This might be as simple as asking it to simplify the language or change the tone of the language to be more formal or, or less formal. We might ask it to shorten the response length in the case of text, video or audio. We could do this by responding to the output by prompting, try again, but simplify the language. We can repeatedly prompt the AI system until we are happy with the output. As mentioned previously, we must always check the output and use our expert judgment to adapt it. AI can assist by speeding the process up, but the thinking that goes into producing resources for students and pupils must always be human. And despite being able to mimic human language very well, AI isn't able to think or understand things in the way that humans do. When an AI responds to you, it's only making predictions about what to say based on the data it has been trained on. It doesn't really understand any of it. To make sure we're using generative AI safely and effectively, we need to always think critically about outputs. There are limitations and we'll explore these later in this module. We should always review the output to ensure that it is fit for purpose and accurate. If you downloaded an educational resource from a website, you would always check it or adapt it before assigning it to a class. And you need to take the same precautions with resources generated by an AI tool. It's also important that if we are to adapt any resources, we do so legally, ensuring we have permission from the copyright holder of the work to use them in this way. We'll learn more about intellectual property in the next module. We can also avoid secondary copyright infringement by not sharing widely the resources generated by an AI system. For example, if we generate an image using AI, we should avoid placing it on our school or college website.